Okay, great. So let's proceed on to absolute value function. An absolute value function is a function that contains an absolute value expression. Okay? The absolute value of x can be written as a piecewise function. Okay? So the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than 0, 0 if 0 equals to 0, and negative x if x is less than 0. Hence, the graph is like that. Okay? So the domain is set of all real numbers. So in getting the domain of an absolute value function is always set of real numbers. Okay? So the range will be based on your given graph. So in this particular graph, so your range is from 0 to positive infinity. Okay? So how do we graph absolute value function? So these are the uh, procedure. The graph of y is equal to a with an absolute value of x minus h plus k as the following characteristics. So the graph has a vertex h, k, and it's symmetric in the line x, which is uh, line x equals h. Okay, the graph is a v-shape. So if it's an absolute value function, so the graph is v-shape. Okay, it opens up if a is greater than zero, and and down if a is less than zero. So the graph is wider than the graph of y equals the absolute value of x if the absolute value of a is less than y. And the graph is narrower than the graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x if the absolute value of a is greater than 1. Okay? For example, the graph, graph the following absolute value function and determine its domain and range. Okay? So how do we do that? So how do we graph an absolute value function? Okay. Can you see me? Can you hear me? So how do we graph an absolute value function? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, oh, okay. So how do we graph an absolute value function? Let's say the given is y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2, okay? So how do we graph that? So first, we need to identify your a. If a is greater than 0, so meaning it opens upward, okay? If a is less than 0, it means opens downward. So in this particular, so the given, uh, the given sign here is positive, so it opens upward, okay? It opens upward. Okay, what if the given is y equals negative absolute value of x plus 2, okay? So more or less your a here is less than 0, so it opens downward. Okay, so in this particular example, y equals the absolute value of x plus 2, so it's positive, so it opens upward. Okay, next, what about the vertex? Your vertex is you're talking about your hk, okay? hk, so how do we determine the value of h? Your h here is the value of x x plus 2 okay so your uh, value of the value of x here is negative 2 so that would be your h so we have negative 2 means what about your k for your k is the uh, constant outside the absolute value expression okay you constant down outside the absolute value expression so in this particular what is the uh, constant in this given uh, function what is the constant your k here we're taking when we say k here you're referring to the uh, constant outside the absolute value expression. So in this particular example, what is your constant? What is your constant? In this particular example, what is your constant? What is your constant? Okay, zero, zero, okay? So zero. So we have negative two, zero, so that's a vertex, okay? So you can plot it, okay? So we have negative two, zero, so here. So, you need negative 2, 0. Okay? So, since negative 2 is your uh, symmetry, okay? And then the uh, graph of an absolute value function is a V shape. Okay? It's a V shape. So, that's the graph of an absolute value function. Okay? So, that's the graph of an absolute value function. Now, based on this, what is your domain? So your domain of an absolute value function is always the set of real numbers. Always the set of real numbers. So your domain in this particular is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now what about the range? Of course, since you do have vertex, okay, 
So your range will be based on your Y value. So what in this particular, what is your um, minimum value? What is the minimum value of Y in this particular graph? What is the minimum value? Okay, zero. So we have zero going where? Going where? Zero to zero what? Okay, zero to positive infinity. Okay, zero to positive infinity. So that's how we graph an absolute value function. Okay? So another example. Y is equal to negative absolute value function x plus 2 plus 3. Y is equal to the negative absolute value of x plus 2 plus 3. So since the given is negative, so A is less than 0, so therefore it opens downward. Okay, negative. Negative yung A. So meaning, it opens up downward. Now what about your vertex? So your vertex came from the value of x, which is negative 2. Okay, so that is your h. And then your k will be the constant outside the uh, absolute value, which is 3. Okay, so that is the uh, vertex. So we need to plot it. So we have negative 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so negative 2, 3. So that's the graph. So since 2, negative 2 is the symmetry. So like that. So it's the graph of an absolute value function. So in that particular, so the domain is still the same, set of all real numbers. So we have negative infinity to positive infinity. And then the range, so what is your minimum value based on this? What is the minimum value? So the minimum value based on the graph that we have is from negative infinity going where? From negative infinity, going to what? What's the highest value of y? So the highest value of y is 3. Okay? So therefore, your range is from negative infinity to 3. 